Okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again everyone. So now what we will be doing is we will be using synthetic division but our divisors would be a trinomial po. Okay po? By trinomials. Okay? So the rule will change a little bit. Okay? Especially for our synthetic division part of um synthetic division part. But yun nga, um and also the the rule will change a little bit when it comes to manipulating our divisor, okay? So, maybe let's start na po so that you will have a rough idea what would happen po, okay? So, the very first thing that you need to do is you have to um, manipulate a little bit your divisor, okay? The synthetic division will work um, quite fine if your um, x squared will have uh, a numeric, numerical coefficient of 1, meaning you have to eliminate this 2, aalisin mo si 2. Okay, and to eliminate 2, you just simply have to factor it out. So, you will have 2x squared plus 3 over 2x plus 2. So, what happened here? So, I divided every given by 2. If you can, of course, divide it, then so be it. Pero, if you can't, you just leave it as is, like a fraction. Okay po? So, the next thing that we do is, of course, um, for our case here, okay? Just like in synthetic division, if you have x plus 2, the number part for the divisor would become negative 2. We just reverse the sign. So, case dito, in this case, the same na lang gagawin natin. So, we will have our given as, uh, our, um, what do you call this, divisor part as negative 3 over 2, reverse the sign, and we will have negative 2, okay? And then on this part po, what would happen is I will create a bar, a line, a set of line, and then I will have a partition. So, meron tayong, meron tayong first space above, and then we have space in the middle, and then we will have the space for the quotient. Dito natin ilalagay yung quotient, okay? And of course, yung ating remainder, okay? So, we leave it as is, okay? And then, let's add our sulat. And then, let's proceed na po sa synthetic division itself. So, what happens here in the synthetic division, okay, is um, the same goes pagdating naman sa divisor, a uh, dividend. Sabi sa dividend, you simply have to copy our dividend, the numerical coefficient, but you have to um, replace or um, fill out the missing terms. Since in our given, there's no missing term, then you write it as is. We have 8 8, 29, and 70. So, 8, 8, 29, and 70. Okay. So, let's proceed now on the steps for our synthetic division. The thing that we do here is, in synthetic division for trinomials, we bring down two things. Okay? We bring down the very first term, and we bring down the second term. But, you have to... Um, be oh uh, be careful na ito the first term will go immediately straight down and then the second term will be on the middle part so magiging dalawa okay and then after you bring down then we will proceed now with the multiplication now as for the multiplication you must be careful as well where do you take your product okay po so what would happen is i will multiply this to 8 and I will also multiply this to 8. But where do I bring them? So you will bring them in these places. But every given that will be multiplied to the orange, to the yellow one, or in our first divisor, will be placed here. Dito po siya ilalagay. And every answer, every product that will be um, solved from the second divisor will be placed here. Yan siya ilalagay. Okay po? So, and then of course, if the space is filled, you just simply have to add them up. Okay? So, let's start na po. So, 8 times negative 3 over 2. So, you you will multiply it here. Sorry, I'm just a correct color. You will multiply it here. The answer there would simply be um, 8 divided by 2. That's 4. And 4 times 3, it's negative 12. Okay? And then we will have this 2 multiplied here. The answer would simply be um, negative, um, that's uh, 16 I guess, negative 16. So it's negative 16, okay po. And then you simply have to add. Ang sagot po dito, for this first one, okay, 
the answer there is just simply negative 4. And for this one, it's positive 4. Then you proceed with the same rule po. Multiply ulit. Which one? The 3 over 2 and then the 2. I mean the negative 3 over 2 and then the negative 2. And multiplying them will give you this. Negative 3 over 2 times 4. The answer is what? The answer is positive 6. And we have negative 2 times negative 4. The answer is 8. Oh, sorry. Let's use the correct color po. Okay po. And then again, you will add po. Adding them will give you 10. And adding this will give you, um, uh, this is 70. Okay. And then again, we multiply. When you multiply, of course, you multiply the orange one. The answer would be here. And then the green one will be here. Okay. Sige po. Um, negative 3 over 2 times 10. The answer is negative 15 and then we have negative 2 times 10 the answer is negative 20 so this would give you an answer or a sum of 2 and then sorry i need the correct color po. sorry so this would be negative 15 and this would be um what's this um, it's negative 20 okay so adding them will give you an answer of and then this one is negative 3 okay as for this one if you have reached this final point you will bring it down because this last two terms will be your remainder okay po? this would be your remainder part and as for your quotient part what would happen there would be you have to check the um, dividend and you have to check the high the highest degree of the dividend and the highest degree of the divisor so the highest degree of your dividend is 4 and the highest degree of your divisor is 2. Just simply reduce it by 2. So 4 minus 2, the answer is 2. Meaning you will have x squared and you will assign that to the very first term of your quotient. So giving you an answer of 8x squared minus 4x plus 10. And then you will have plus, it's always plus po, diba? Now, as for your remainder, okay, as for your remainder, you will check your quotient, reduce the exponent by 1. Okay, po? So, this would be plus 2x minus 3. And, of course, lagi natin siyang dinidivide by our um, divisor. And, our divisor is basically this one. Partial divisor po yan, okay? So, this is x squared plus 3 over 2x plus 2. Okay po. So that would be our um, quotient. But then again, we still have that 2. So how do we bring back 2? So, so you bring back 2 by simply, since yan ay division, you will divide the quotient again. Dividing the quotient again would be like this. Divide both sides by 2. So divide it by 2 and I, no both sides pa. So you divide both sides by 2. Okay. divide both sides by 2 and when you divide by 2 so you will just simply of course divide everything every term by 2 so this would become now 4x squared minus 2x plus 5 and still may plus po yan 2x minus 3 but what would happen to the denom denominator of that it would be equals to your original divisor which is of course 2x squared minus uh, plus 3x plus 4. Okay? And this would be your quotient. Okay? So that would be your um, synthetic division by trinomials. Okay? So let's have something easier po. Like this one. Ayan. Okay? So yeah, and since our given there is now already in the yung x squared natin or our divisor is already in its um numerical coefficient of 1 so what will we do is we will just simply take 4 let's use a different color okay? you will take 4 and then you will take positive 2 okay so again you know we will have our um our lines okay so and of course we will copy our 3 negative 10 negative 21 we have 25 and then we have 15 okay 
uh, please don't mind the background noise I'm really sorry so yeah so we have 15 then the next thing that we do is of course um, we bring down two terms immediately so we bring down 3 and negative 10 then again we multiply na po. so 4 times 3 the answer is of course 4 8 12 12 and of course 2 times 3 the answer is 6 and then we add again the answer is 2 and the answer here would simply be 21 um, minus 6 the answer is uh, what's the answer here for a while um, negative 15 okay then we multiply again so 4 times 2 the answer is 8 since I have Tito and of course 2 times 2 the answer is 4 and then we add again Negative 15 plus 8, the answer here would be uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the answer here would be negative 7. And then for the answer here, the answer would be 29, I guess. Yeah, 29. And next, we multiply po ulit. So 4 times 7, the answer is um, 28. Negative 28 po kasi negative 7 yan. And then 2 times negative 7, the answer would be negative 40 and then of course we add them up the answer here is 1 and again this is 1 and bring down muna agad yung 1 if you have reached that final point okay po then this last two would be your quotient and this would be your i i mean the remainder and this would be your quotient look at the given we have 4 and we have 2 reduce the 4 by 2 the answer is x squared you assign that to the very first term Reduce it by 1, successively, 2x, minus 7, and plus your remainder, which is, of course, reduce this one by 1. So, this would be x, 1x, or simply x, positive 1, divided by your quotient, which is, of course, x squared, minus 4x, minus 2. Okay? So, I do hope you got that. Of course, if you have any inquiries or questions regarding our topic... Um, you can of course always consult me po, or you can check the video every time that you would want to have a review po. okay and then again just a reminder po in mathematics po no um the f the formula the method will be the same what would be different is the um the questions okay po? so you have to always remember the pattern po in our roots okay if we, it would be quite easy for you to have this color scheming for your ano, answers then please provide a three colored pen po. like you have a black a red and then a blue or a green or things like that okay Para hindi kayo malito. but yun nga, um long as you get the final answer correctly then there would be no issue regarding that okay po so um again thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh